Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going into Act 6.2, and this is quest number 5. So first, I've already scouted out the paths, and you will see what I felt was the easiest path for your initial clear, and that's path C. And you want to look at each of the nodes because they are different. And look at who you're going to be fighting as well. All right, so let's take a look at the node. But more importantly, we're going to talk about this global. So the attacker gains one charge for every five hits in their combo meter when the defender receives damage from any source that would knock them out, and the attacker has one or more charges. A charge is consumed instead, and the attacker receives damage. Okay, now, basically, what you want to do is watch your combo meter. All right, every five hits, you're gonna get a charge. To remove those charges, you need to intercept or fire off a heavy attack. A heavy attack removes one charge, I believe, and the intercept removes two charges. But here's the wonderful thing about Ghost. You see me doing the phase and the attack? That counts as an intercept. So look at the charge that I have up there right now. And watch this here. Boom. It's gone. Okay. So if you're using Ghost, you can fight like normal. But you still want to be careful. Because like right now, say I had a special 2. And I was fighting a champion that didn't have, you know, any sort of a cheat death mechanic or anything like that. I might be tempted to fire off a special 2. But if I do that, while I have that charge up, even with Ghost... I'm gonna get wrecked. All right, so you just wanna make sure you keep an eye on your combo meter and those buffs, okay? And it's really easy. Now, if you don't have Ghost and you're good at intercepting, you're gonna do just fine. But if you're not good at intercepting, just pay attention. Make sure you fire off a heavy, like you saw me do there, and take the charge away and then you can take them out very easy to work around but very easy to forget as well at least for me I don't know about you guys all right so that's the first fight down and that was my first time dealing with this global node so I'm trying to think of it you know in the back of my mind and I'm like okay with Ghost, I shouldn't have to worry about it, but I do still need to watch for it, okay? But other than that, you're gonna have some pretty straightforward fights. So here we're facing Moon Knight. Nothing too special about Moon Knight. That special one can be fun, and then that. Now, I got lucky because he can put a stun on you, and he could have easily stun locked me right there. You know, that was just a mistake on my part. I dashed a bit, you know, too early or something like that and he caught me okay so here we are we've got that charge up as you see so what I want to do now is get rid of that charge so there we go I fired the heavy off now I can build up to a special uh, two if I want to see how quick the AI is moving out of the way it's very odd okay just look at that but we got him down I don't know what it is, maybe you guys have experienced it as well, but it seems like with Ghost, the AI was moving a little bit quickly. It was it was recovering and reacting a little bit faster than normal. That last flurry you saw there, uh, I was actually waiting for it, and that's the only reason I didn't get caught by that. All right, so now we're facing Gwenpool. Normally, not a difficult fight. But again, I'm trying to worry about the global node and I'm noticing the AI, you know, acting a little bit differently, acting a little bit more passive. Okay, almost pushed her to a special three, but we backed off and was able to bait out that special uh, two. All right, now we got to the special three, but I phased. And I was hoping that she would uh, fire off her special three, but there was something that I forgot. Okay, so I have a hood synergy, so I didn't take any damage as you see. But with Gwenpool, she puts an armor break. 
and Ghost now cannot phase. So I'm just like, okay, that was a bad idea. So what you see me doing here is just waiting. Just waiting. You know, I could parry and fire off a heavy, you know, but I'm just waiting here. And then I did it again. Clearly not learning my lesson. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to her um, power meter. I was only concentrating on playing it safe. So here you see what I did. I went ahead and fired off my uh, heavy attack so that I got rid of that uh, charge. Now I want to bait out a little bit. Okay, fired that off. Now, I was a little bit nervous here because remember Gwenpool doesn't die to specials. Okay, but thankfully she didn't fire off her special right there and we took her down. That was very lucky. That was very poorly played. That was some sloppy playing. I deserved to lose Ghost in that fight. But I'll take it. All right, so I decided to give Ghost a little bit of a rest. See, we have to deal with masochism, which I hate with a passion. All right. Um, but I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and heal her up and go back in. Uh, I was thinking about going in with uh, Captain America Infinity War. But I said, no, let me, uh, you know, like when you fall off of a bicycle, you get right back on. So I said, just go ahead and just start doing the phase one hit and hopefully I'll get used to this node uh, using a ghost so look at this don't ask me what was happening here I don't know what that was and so at this point I'm just like wow maybe I should have uh, switched over and, and fought with somebody else all right he's got his special three now you know but I phased, phased again, and he fired off his special three. I was afraid that the AI was gonna go completely passive on me and just wait until my phase timer ran out and then fire the special three. Uh, fortunately, he didn't do that. And see, I have the, uh, there we go. I had the charge, so I couldn't just fire off my special two or else I would've gotten wrecked. So I was backed into a corner and I managed to get him with a heavy and take him out. That again was a very fortunate end of the fight. All right, so I'm just like, boy, I am just really not doing well right now with Ghost. So this time I did decide to take that break that I mentioned earlier uh, and bring in Captain America Infinity War. Okay, so you often hear me say throughout my other videos that if you don't have Ghost, uh, Captain America Infinity War is a good option for a lot of these. You can play around these nodes. So you see here, I just do my, you know, regular fighting. You don't have to worry about anything until you're ready to finish them off anyway. But you don't want to build up too many of those charges because then you're going to have to get rid of them. So say you never fired a heavy off, never intercepted, and just fought them all the way down to the end. Well, now you're in trouble because you need to either hit them with a heavy or intercept them, and you might kill them before you get rid of all of those charges because those charges stack. See, we have two of them up there right now, okay? And as you'll see here, the heavy only took away one, all right? So boom, boom. And it took away the other one, but we got another one. So that's a danger. You have to make sure that you manage those charges. Okay, so you see here, I was getting rid of it nice and early. And since we're close to the end, I don't want to play around with the charges and accidentally taking her out. So I'm, I'm just baiting out that uh, special one. I do not like Gamora's special two. Okay. And I'm just trying to get the charge there we go we got the charge and we got rid of it okay that is pretty much how you want to play uh with captain america infinity war okay so we see here boom boom all right just takes a little bit more patience and a little bit more setup 
that's one of the reasons that this particular quest also took a long time because the node makes you play a little bit less aggressively and a little bit more strategically. Uh, I believe that was their goal in the first place. All right, so now we've got Spry, which is very annoying, especially with a, a Spider-Verse champion. Fortunately, with him, he's only going to evade after he fires off a special. So this time I said, all right, if he passively evades, you know, it's just annoying. But with Ghost, that first initial hit after phase, he cannot evade. You can't evade that first hit there that you see me doing. All right, and you also can't evade really any of her crits. Okay, so here we go. Now he's got his spider sense up. And so I hit him while he was stunned. And now, just going in, and see he can't evade those. All right, so a nice way to handle that. Now, if you are fighting without a ghost, just make sure to parry him, because you can parry him, and attack him only when he's stunned until that buff wears out. That's how you want to handle him. Okay? And of course, again, you still have to, you know, keep track of that global, so those charges. So yeah, it can be a little bit uh, to get, you know, used to, but not that difficult. A lot to, to keep track of. You may forget sometimes and uh, get wrecked and you will see that happened to me later you know even after all of this i still forget sometimes all right so we've got heal block breakthrough god slayer blah 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 shouldn't be a problem karnak has very easy uh specials to evade okay so we don't really have to do much of anything uh differently than in other fights okay just continue watching that you know, you see I have two charges up there. Okay. And there we go. Now, he's getting down close to it. We've got another charge up. We just have to, boom, it's down. Another charge is up. Boom, we got rid of it. You just have to get that timing right. Because if you don't time it just right, it's not going to count as an intercept. All right, so we got him down. Not too difficult. But... Although Ghost does make it, you know, easy, you do need to know how to uh, fight with her. So even if you have a Ghost, don't be upset if you get in here and it doesn't work out as well as you would like. All right, so now we're facing Colossus. This is pre-buff Colossus. He's about to get a buff. And he is stun immune. But Ghost doesn't care about stun immune because when you fight with Ghost properly, you're not doing a lot of parrying. Okay? So, you're phasing, letting them attack, and then attacking them. So there's no reason that the stun uh, immunity should give you any kind of problems. Alright? So here we go. Phase out that recoil. And I could tank a special three. Not a big deal, but he's close to the end of his life, and I've got two charges up. So now I'm backed in the corner, and so I'm worried. Okay, so here you go. You see I'm trying to get rid of those charges, and I just got rid of the charge in time. That had me sweating. That was too close. I wasn't paying attention to the charges, and almost got myself boxed into a corner, literally. Okay? So now, we are on the boss. Now this boss I heard a lot about. Of course, Mordo is a royal pain to fight, okay? And you've got these, you know, nodes to deal with. Now his special one is easy to evade, not worried about that. That special delivery can be annoying and that is gonna take me out more than anything. Okay, the strength in numbers you just need to pay attention if you have more than one champion knocked out. It might be worth it to you to revive them, okay? And we've got Hurt Locker, so you don't want to uh, fire off the same special uh, in a row, okay? 
So a lot to, to keep track of. And you're going to see, I don't do a good job of that. Okay, so normally, Mordo is not going to be a problem for Ghost. You're going to just keep doing phase, attack, phase, attack. When he goes into his uh, uh, power gain, if you didn't manage to hit him, then you just go ahead and bait it out, you know, or hit him with a heavy attack when he, you know, backs up in the corner. So now I'm trying to bait it out. Didn't manage to bait it out. Okay, and look at this. He's backing up. And look at that. He actually backed up, didn't throw his special three until I phased out. And then he went, of course, passive, like he likes to do, and caught me out of phase. I was so heated by this. I was like, wow, is that how this is going to be? Is that how the AI is going to do me? You see here, I'm just sitting here at this screen because I was like, okay, let's try Captain America Infinity War. Okay, so he tried to do a heavy in the, you know, right at the beginning. Didn't work for him. Okay, and we're just uh, whittling him down. Now, what you're going to find here is that I was so determined to get him that I forgot about the node. See there? Look at my health. That's because I forgot about the node. And I got those charges and didn't get rid of them. And I took all that damage. And when I saw all that damage, I was like, oh, I don't believe this. And it kind of threw me off. Um, because of course, initially it was a shock. I was like, wait, why am I losing health? And then I was like, oh man, that's right. It was because of that node. I forgot. All right. So this time I went ahead and said, okay, I'm going to revive ghost. Cause she seems to be the best, but because of the strength in numbers, I also went ahead and revived captain America infinity war because I didn't want to deal with that. I'm not going to use him again, but. I didn't want him hurting me, you know, because of that node, strength in numbers. All right, so now I'm like, all right, we're not gonna do this again. Okay, no healing ghost. We're just gonna just go in like that. I attacked a little bit more because he was about to get the power gain and I wanted to make sure I hit him while it was up to cancel it. And then again, I completely forgot about the node. See, I didn't even get a chance to finish my special two. Same thing that happened before. So I am really out of sorts right now. You know, wasn't paying attention. That shouldn't have happened. I could have easily uh, managed that if I had remembered. All right, but I was a little tilted uh, already about what happened before. So I'm just like, all right, well, whatever. You know, we're gonna get him down. We're not gonna have to deal with this for quite a while because I'm not coming back in here. Uh, until uh, some things change. Uh, either I get a Heimdall uh, for uh, one of the other uh, quests for, for Sinister. Uh, otherwise, I'm not coming back in here. All right, so there we go. And not worried about his specials here. But now, look at this. I'm getting focused. He's got the power gain again. Fire off the heavy, which cleared those charges. So it worked out very nicely. Okay, and there we go. He's got one health, I mean 1% health, and we got him down. So, my bad playing, but other than that, it really wasn't that bad. So, if you play better than I do, shouldn't have too much of a problem with this Mordo. Alright, so that's going to do it, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all... Have a blessed day.